All right. So when you have a narcissistic family and a toxic family that you are a part of, you're going to play a role somewhere in this toxic family, right? You are often the scapegoat, the golden child. You're some, you're some form of role that the narcissistic person has put you in. And the dynamic of that family, the dynamic and the control and the power that that family has over the roles everyone plays can operate in a way that feels like a narcissistic cult or a family cult. So what we mean by this when we say it is that it's a group of highly dysfunctional roles being played out within a family that has been orchestrated and conducted by what we might call the puppet master or the narcissistic usually parent, the patriarch or the matriarch of the family, who then everything operates based on that narcissistic person's delusional reality that they're creating for the family. So they set the narrative for the family. They determine how it will operate. They control what happens. They control who plays which part. And if you take a moment and try and step out of your role, if you grow and change, if you find healing, if you or if you take a turn and go a different direction and try and break out of the mold that they've set up for you, there's a multiple things that can happen. They can reject that and cast you out from the family, in which case they will smear you. They will attack from all fronts out externally so that they make your life really difficult everywhere else. They will not let you back in. They'll disinherit you. They will spread their venom into other people in the extended family and the extended circle of friends so that you are pushed out so far. Okay. Another thing that can happen when you try to change the role is they push back. They'll push, you push and you set a boundary. They'll push on your boundaries. You set another boundary. They'll push on those boundaries until you are still operating within the same dynamic of the same role that you were put in. And you're the only one seeing that this is nonsense. This isn't who you are. This, this, you're being told you are something. And if you try to break free from that, you'll be gaslit. They will project onto you and you will be put right back into that role. The thing is that the, whoever is setting up this system, this cult-like behavior is a narcissistic person, is a very toxic person and they control everybody's outcome because you know how it is when you're in a relationship with a narcissist it's all about the narcissist's world it's not about yours you don't exist you exist to feed supply to the narcissist and that is it so if there's any pushback toward this if there's any questioning of it if you question the rules the narcissistic person will set the rules that the household the family the operations when you're on your own outside the, the family, but still how you're supposed to conduct your life, all of it, those rules are the narcissist rules. And if you don't follow those rules, there will be a punishment. Have you had this happen? If you have, what has happened with you? How have they, how has the narcissistic person systematically gotten everyone in the family to turn on you? And what has happened when you tried to step out of your role and into the role of who you truly are? In these families where it is to this degree, the narcissistic person rules with an iron fist, okay? They are absolute, total, controlling, basically family dictators. There is often an enabler or a secondary sort of narcissistic person or a person that doesn't want to deal with it, so to speak. And so they, because they, they don't want the attacks coming at them, they enable and placate the narcissist. That's usually the other spouse or the other spouse is trying desperately to protect everybody else and is pretending that the narcissistic person they're deflecting, they're covering up for, they are being, they're doing their best to keep the peace in the family. So you see what role that narcissist has placed them in, the peacekeeper and the one to cover the tracks of the toxic behavior. And what that does to the rest of the family is people see it, children see it, other, other family members see it, but then they see the, the contrast of the enabling parent or the enabling partner. And they think it can't be that bad. They look happy. The whole family looks happy right? So it gets very twisted and very confusing and very hard for anyone to explain what's going on in the family because you're seeing these roles play out and none of them make sense. It doesn't align with what's being viewed on the outside. If you don't agree with the narcissist belief system 
control system way of operating. They will make it so that basically you're a threat. Okay, so they'll make it so that you are never seen as sane, healthy. Um, they'll do things like push you toward actions. I know I've talked to so many people who have um, turned to alcohol or drugs to escape the pain from this kind of thing. But then what happens because they were the scapegoat is now they've got something legitimate to be scapegoated for and not trusted for. Unfortunately, it becomes very difficult to reshape out of that to be recovering from any of these addictions and have the support. Well, you don't have the support of the family. The family needs you down, right? Because they're toxic. And when you try to lift yourself up, they'll keep you down. They will keep the words they'll use, the the way they will continually talk about you as if you are still in that position. And they won't let you back up unless they're the ones who can make it look like they got you out of the situation, like they helped you heal. Like it's because of them that you are now the way you are and, and such a better person and so on. The thing is, you'd think you'd think it would be obvious and be easy to see. You'd think that if that people would just wake up and be like, wait, I'm a pawn. I'm a I'm get I'm like a puppet and she's pulling my strings or he's pulling my strings and I don't even have a thought of my own. And it can't get healthy in a toxic system when you continually have someone being toxic in the group. So you can't get healthy as a family or as a group when you have this toxic leader right and even though we don't think my mother or my father is the leader they really are pulling the strings you see what happens when they're removed everything falls apart they're controlling it so much that people can't think for themselves and it takes a lot to get out of these situations and like literally it's like leaving a cult you have to learn to think for yourself again you have to be deprogrammed in your mind and the brainwashing that's been put in there needs to be erased right or at least modified so that you can see that it is brainwashing and um i always say in this situation the sad truth is the scapegoat is usually the fortunate one and that sounds really funny but the reason is that they're the ones usually who see the injustice they're the truth seers and the truth sayers they are usually the ones who um, even if they can't stand up for themselves, would stand up for someone else because that can be worked on. That part can be reprogrammed and healed. What can't be fixed is when someone doesn't even see it or refuses to see it because they benefit from the family cult system. Just know that these family cult systems causes a lot of problems. And all you can do, I think, is work on your own self through this and find your own way out. Don't try to save your siblings and your family members. Don't try to convince them. You can tell them, you can lead them to the information, but take care of you so that you can live a life independently and autonomously as you should when you grow up and become an adult, right? Um, and you can break the enmeshment for yourself and you can break the guilt and shame that they'll put on you because two of the major punishments that they use are guilt and shame. Those are the two major of ways that they will control your mind is by creating guilt and shame in you. So you you can heal those things, okay? And then get away from this toxic system, regardless of whether you go no contact or not. Uh, keeping it low contact, some people can do it and still be able to break free from this. So if you need any help with anything, check out the info in the description of every video. There are links there to reach me for coaching, group coaching, or for other support groups, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. I am Lise Colucci, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.